Welcome. Dr. Torper here to celebrate with you the wonderful day, this day of half a ween. We're halfway there to Halloween, and more than that, we are well into Halloween season. Just like there's a Christmas season, there's a Halloween season. Did you know that? Well, now you do. Halloween season starts the day after Easter. J.C. reanimates himself right out of that tomb, and he didn't look back. Perfect way to start off Halloween season. So you can comfort yourself with that, but then you say, Dr. Torper, how will I survive six months until Halloween? Well, one thing you can do is monitor the seasonal aisle at Walgreens. Look for when the school supplies come up for all those little goblins. And watch it carefully once the school supplies come up because bloop, suddenly they'll be gone and all the Halloween stuff will be up. Ah, that joyous day. Then you're deep into Halloween season. You're getting closer, closer to that time of the year where the veil between worlds becomes more permeable. So let's make that veil a little thinner right now, shall we? Have you noticed, as I have, that the gimmicks in the Halloween aisle are more and more disappointing lately? They're just not the same? Well, after years of secret scientific research and countless failures, I have created a graph to demonstrate this problem. Aha! Now, you'll see there's cycles where Halloween is popular with adults, and there's cool stuff in the Halloween aisles, like props that you'd see in a haunted attraction and all sorts of really creepy decorations that are more adult-oriented. Then there's low points, and I mean low, as low as you can go, limbo rock low, where it's all cutesy. And it's only for kids. It's all focused on kids. Nothing wrong with that. But it is kind of ageist, don't you think? Anyhow, we've been in one of those low periods where all the Halloween stuff is for the wee ones. Well, what about us adults? So, I mean, you don't even get a day off for Halloween. Just like Valentine's Day. Don't think about that too much. It's not good for you. Now I am going to help you with a one-card tarot reading. I selected only the Major Arcana. Major Arcana, because this is a big deal, all right? This one card is going to tell us what we need to do to survive until Halloween. I mean, what's a ghoul to do, right? So I'm shuffling these. I'm using my tricyclic powers. From the beyond, you have to tap them, wake them up a little bit. Ho, ho, ho! Can you see that? Do you see that? See that card? That card costs more than your healing crystal. Be that as it may, this card is the world, which is the last card of the healing arcana, number 21. And what it tells us what this card tells us, look at that ghoulish figure. Can you see that? That ghoulish figure encouraging that young woman. That rather normal-looking, bland young woman while that very attractive, creepy, cadaveresque kind of figure is going, pointing forward, pointing the way, showing her the way forward. We have to embrace all contradictions, all parts of ourself. Just as every cloud has a silver lining, Everything that catches light throws a shadow. Now, all that being said, it's time for me to return back to the beyond. I mean, I can't hang around forever. I mean, it is six months till Halloween shows up. I mean, I got things to do. You should see what my day planner looks like. So, I wish for you to stay in contact with the infinite. And if you want more like this... And why wouldn't you? And if you'd like to know things like, you know, how to 
cleanse unclean spirits with saline irrigation, go to drtorper.com. Be well, mortals.